everybody welcome back to my channel I'm super excited that you clicked on this video this is a collab with Brina with a twist that woman is my girl I love her so much she's all about saving budgeting and couponing she is the deals queen is what I call her and I am more than ecstatic to be doing this collaboration with her I will leave her deets in the description box below so you can go ahead and check her out but we decided to come together and do a debt numbers update for our January month. I did purchase a whiteboard recently and I want to be able to show you guys the whole list as well as what I've been able to pay off for this month alone. It is super exciting. Stay tuned. Pulled up my laptop and I signed into my Navion login. I am truthfully reflecting and showing you guys what I owe. It is $55,969. This is 100% transparent and clear. I have paid off student loan number two, student loan number seven, and student loan number nine. I would say aggressively this past year because 2019, I wasn't 100% caught up on my past bills and what I owed. So this past year, I was able to fully, fully concentrate on these unsubsidized student loans. And then I am currently working on student loan number one and anticipate paying off student loan number 11. I have the money to be able to put it down for student loan number one and pay it off in full. However, guys, I am going to be holding off on that, putting that money into a high yield savings account because as a lot of you probably already know, student loans have been extended, the forbearance has continued, and no interests are being accumulated right now, which means that I'm in no rush. I have nine months to pay off these next two student loans, and I'm going to make it happen, especially that number 11. It is going to be a tough one that is a lot of money, four grand, but I'm willing to challenge myself and make it happen because I know it's possible. I'm not even going to say I'm going to try to pay off student loan number 11 and number one. I'm saying I'm going to make it happen. Because once I pay off student loan number one and number 11, my total current balance, guess what will happen? Will enter a new decade. It will leave the $55,000 range and go into the $40,000 ranges. And I am so excited. I cannot wait for that to happen. Besides putting that money into a high yield savings account over the next nine months, what I anticipate doing is making sure, and please hold me accountable for this to put the student loans in my budget item for my budgets every single time I get paid because that way I'm not putting that money on anywhere else other than what it really needs to go to, which is these student loans. Once the forbearance is over, I will be paying off student loan number one and number 11. And you know what, guys? I'm gonna be even crazy and think big and pay off a part of student loan number 13. Let's go. I've been able to see that paying off these student loans is possible. Even on a very low income, it can happen. Just as long as you continue to be consistent and disciplined, you can see those results in anything that you do. But since we're talking about this debt-free journey, that's what I wanna hone in on and let you guys know that you have to have the mindset that you wanna pay off these student loans before 2030 or whatever year that they predict because it's some ridiculous amount of year and I will actually open one up so that way you guys can see what I'm talking about because they always say that you're going to pay off a certain amount by like a crazy year okay so right here end date 11 21 2030 I proved them wrong I paid this off in 2020 and I am going to continue to prove them wrong with the end date because that is just insane. It is highway robbery and you don't have to succumb and put yourself through that. Yeah, it is going to be a sacrifice in the beginning. But once you have come to the decision to make these student loans go away or any of the debt that you have to go away, it will end up coming to pass. This is a temporary lifestyle. This is temporary payments. It won't always be like this, especially if you are throwing as much as you can towards these debts. December 
2020. It's not going to be perfect, guys. So, of course, my fridge goes off right when I'm recording a video, like always. Was $56,420 in January 2021, right? That's the month that we are currently at. This is actually today's the last day. I've already showed you guys the total amount in my laptop is $55,969. The payment total, we're just going to write total is drum roll please that's my attempt at a drum roll 451 dollars guys that is how much i paid off for student loans this past month you are so much more capable and able than you really think you are and as difficult and strenuous as it is to get out of debt it is even difficult and more strenuous to continue to be in debt. Okay, I know that you can do this. You can pay off those student loans. You can pay off that mortgage. You can pay off that car. You can pay off that business. And it will come to pass. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a huge thumbs up. It really helps with my channel and the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Share with everybody that you know. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Don't forget to check out Brina with a twist. Let her know that I sent you over there in her comment video section. I'm going to leave you off with this saying, a dollar a day can take the debt away. Bye!